Watch. Paula Patton laughs off fried chicken backlash. Christy Giles' husband is sharing more insight into the model's final hours before her tragic and shocking death. In an exclusive interview with E! News, Jan Silliers recalled the final conversations he had with his wife before she died from multiple drug intoxication due to what the medical examiner's office has ruled a homicide. The last time I spoke to her was the night that she went out, Silliers told E! News. We've been texting the night she went out. I was up on the way to San Francisco and she was out on the beach watching the sunset saying she wished that she could watch the sunset with me. Then, she texted me later that night as well, Silliers continued. I was already asleep and then when I woke up, I tried to make contact with her multiple times. I couldn't get through to her, but we share each other's location. I didn't recognize the address that she was at. She wasn't responding to my messages. Then, the next time I looked, her location had moved to the Culver City Emergency Room. On November 13, Giles, 24, and her friend Hilda Marcella Cabrales Arzola, 26, were each left unresponsive outside two different hospitals in the Los Angeles area after a night out. While Giles was pronounced dead the night she was left unconscious outside of the Southern California Hospital, Cabrales Arzola was found unconscious and in critical condition almost two miles away from her friend at the Kaiser Permanente West Los Angeles Hospital. She died weeks later on November 24. Both tested positive for multiple drugs in their system, according to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner's Office. Giles died with a mixture of cocaine, fentanyl, ketamine and gamma-hydroxybutyrate acid, commonly referred to as GHB or the date rape drug, found in her system, according to her online records reviewed by E! News. As for Cabrales Arzola, the interior designer died from multiple organ failure and multiple drug intoxication. In December, three men, David Pierce, 38, Brant Osborne, 42, and Michael Ansbach, 47, were arrested in connection with the deaths. Pierce was charged with manslaughter and the other two were accused of being accessories to manslaughter. Osborne and Ansbach were released from police. Custody the same month while Pierce remains in custody on $3.4 million bail from sexual assault charges unrelated to Giles and Cabrales Arzola's cases. While police continue to investigate and accept tips from the public, Silliers is hoping to keep his wife's memory alive by speaking out and sharing parts of their love story. After first meeting at an art gallery in West Hollywood, the couple had their first date on Valentine's Day in 2019. They were married in Augusta of that year. I thought she was attractive, Silliers said when recalling his first encounter with Giles. When I got to speaking with her, I thought she was also very interesting. And then we also ran into each other a few more times within the next couple of weeks and then I asked her out on a date. The rest was history. According to Silliers, his wife was planning to re-enroll in school and study psychology in hopes of helping others. She lived her life to the fullest, he said. She was very kind to everybody around her. She also didn't take any nonsense. She cared very much for the environment. She did multiple beach cleanup events outside our place. And she had a great group of friends that loved her and admired her. She brought a lot of joy to a lot of people's lives.